Hey everyone, so today I want to teach you how to stop rolling over because it's a huge problem and if you continue to do this, you're going to get, you know, results that you don't want to and you can be very frustrated and um, you can feel like you're falling behind and I want to share with you what I would recommend because I've been through this issue and I'm seeing it now that it is a huge problem and you see it with players um, all over the country. When I'm doing in-person lessons, I see it and then when I go to practices i see that they're rolling over and i also see it um, with my online coaching as well and speaking of that the player that you see on the screen is one of my online clients and as you can see here this is the first day we started working together you'll see that he when he swings he starts coming around the baseball and he would pound this ball into this plate pretty pretty consistently i mean his dad literally reached out to me and said he would be on top of the ball a lot and he would be coming around it um pretty consistently as he was swinging and so he was very frustrated with that and so we started to work in together and um what you'll see is him now on the right hand side so same kid but look how he's working inside of his body and he's direct to the baseball and he's hitting line drives but look how much more simpler easy and relaxed his swing is um it's a definitely a great swing and and a lot of progress and we definitely put in the work and um all i had to do was just guide them tell them what they need to do and look at that that's fun to watch right there so I'm gonna share with you uh, the three things that is holding you back from squaring balls up, from hitting line drives, from hitting more doubles if you're rolling over and coming around the baseball, okay? And uh, I'm gonna use him as, as an example. What I see a lot is that the first thing that is usually happening, and this is what I call the rollover coming around the baseball equation. And uh, if you fix all the things that I'm about to share with you, you will be hitting more line drives, I guarantee that. So basically what you'll see here is that when he gets to this position, let's say his front foot gets down so he's in the launch position and even here look at how the bat starts wrapping around his head and we're going to speak about that but you'll also see look how he starts look how he continues moving forward onto his front foot and his front foot doesn't even stiffen out because he keeps moving forward okay so this forces him to start coming around the baseball so first thing i would recommend if you're going to fix uh rolling over or what i would recommend if you um are rolling over or coming around the baseball is to watch your lower half because if your front foot gets takes all the weight look what his hips are going to do his hips will just start turning because you know he's putting all his weight on that front foot so he'll end up spinning like a screw and this will uh, force you to come around the baseball and you know he's at a young age they could be throwing off speed pitches but if you're older you know it's going to be tough for you when they're throwing um, on the outside corner or if they're throwing sliders or change ups you're going to swing over them or around them um, you're going to get fooled more because your head is moving so much and if we look right here look where his head starts at out at and then look how far his head ends just a lot of movement there and he didn't even see this ball hit the barrel okay as opposed to if we look over here again look look how he sees the ball hit the barrel and everything's working inside of his body right he's working in here tight he's working inside barrels turned he turns that barrel look at that barrel turn boom and then drive through it and then if we look right here He's working around his body, okay? So first thing I would recommend you do is uh, fix the lower half. Um, that was the first place I would check because everything works from the ground up, right? The swing won't even work if your lower half isn't in the right positions, right? The lower half is like the foundation of a home. 
if the foundation is rocky or unstable the home comes crashing down so first place that you should look at um, if you're coming around the baseball if you're rolling over um, it would be your lower half and I know that might be different from what most people would recommend but the lower half could be affecting you big time so check that out the next thing you'll see here is how this bat starts wrapping around his head so see it's here and then it starts wrapping around his head now if the bat starts wrapping what happens is you start to come around the baseball there's no way you can stay inside if it will work inside your body if the bat's wrapping or going back around his head so that would be uh, something that I would recommend I see with a lot of players is that they'll be here and then this bat starts going right around um, their head and then what's going to happen is since the bat is wrapping around the head the swing gets long and then you're going to come around the baseball you know he can't get this bat head out front because the bat is wrapping around his head so that right there is the second thing I've seen with a lot of young players is that they're rolling over is because the bat's just wrapping around their head and they can't get inside. They start working around their body just because of that. Okay, so that's something that you really want to clean up um, because you might be able to get away with it right now when you're younger, but when you start getting older, they start throwing fastballs inside. And if your bat's wrapping around your head, there's no way you're going to get to that. You're going to get jammed. You're going to start rolling over and then you have to start cheating to try to get to that baseball. And that's not good, right? We want to give ourselves, um, we want to put ourselves in a great position so that we can make good reactionary decisions. And if our barrel is behind our head it's going to be very very hard to stay inside the baseball there's only a few people able to get away with this and um yeah it's just a hard way of hitting so right there that's um the second thing that i would recommend and then the third thing that i would recommend um before we even speak of that you'll see that right here i mean he's still it's getting better, but you'll see how the barrel now is above his head and he's working inside his body instead of around here. See how the barrel starts going low. You see that here, the barrel starts going. It's still up where the knob is pointing to the catcher and now he's able to work inside of his body. So we clean that up. The bat wrap issue. He, I like how he gets back here. You know, you see how everything's still above his head and he's able to turn that barrel correctly. So he's able to work inside. And I mean inside, look look how, how tight, look how this barrel goes in. And you see how he's able to look this slot right here. Look how his back elbow gets in the slot and then he's able to um, go to the ball. Now, if we look right here, since he's that bat wraps, he can't stay inside and he can't work inside of his body. You see how now, look how everything starts working around him. He's working around his body, okay? So the third thing I would recommend is the actual swing and the extension. Um, that seems like where everyone runs to, but believe me on this, the other two things are hidden problems that most people don't know they're doing that is causing them to roll over and come around the baseball. So check those first. But right now, let's look at the third thing when it comes to the actual swing, okay? And most people come here and then they swing and then they're in and out of the zone. So they're rolling over, right? They get into the zone right here and then they come here and then they roll over real quick. And so <clears throat> what I would recommend is that once you get into the zone, as you see right here, you turn that barrel and then you extend through it, long, long through it, trying to um, coming over this back shoulder. I told him that what you wanna do is give yourself a pat on the back with your top hand. Because if you try to give yourself a pat on the back with your top hand, okay, say you're here 
and you give yourself a pat on the back with this top hand, you're gonna come over the shoulder and your swing's gonna come here, short, and then long, long, long through it. Look how long his, his extension is through it, okay? So this is what I told him and it has helped him and I'm sure it's gonna help a lot of you out there is focus on that top hand, giving yourself a pat on the back, okay? Because you can't do it if you go sideways. If you come this way, it's going to be hard for you to give yourself a pat in the back. But you want to give yourself a pat in the back over your shoulder, just like you see right there. Okay. Now this is going to keep you more in the zone and inside that baseball. And that right there is how you fix your rollover coming around the baseball problem. Now, if you do that, you would definitely fix that issue. With that said, if you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to fix this issue, I've created a book called The Rollover Execution Plan, and it will walk you through the three things we talked about because that's major. Um, that's the major issues on why people are rolling over and coming around the baseball, especially in youth baseball today. And it's holding a lot of players back from reaching to their full potential. Um, and if you want this, I'll give it to you for free. All I ask that you pay for shipping. You pay the shipping of it, $7.97. I'll ship this out to you. You can read it, it'll give you all the drills, the instructions, so you can fix this issue and do what uh, my player is doing in the online coaching. And if you want to uh, get work with me or work with me somehow, um, I'll put the link below as well. I do some online coaching and I'll help fix your kid's swing or your swing um, so that you could have an elite swing so you don't fall behind and uh, you get all the you know accolades and all the things that you want so with that being said i want to thank you guys for watching um if you're interested links will be below and i'll ship this out immediately and if you want to work with me it'll be below again so thank you guys and i'll talk to you soon